IBB Builders Merchants proudly supports volleyball. System here, potentially in the game as he does from the inside. Neil Sink. That's a good swing. International. The experience. Block is watching through the net. IBB Polonia London bet this season on the junior players, which turned out to be the right choice. They're only a few days away from the grand final of the Under-18 Championship where they will be competing for the gold medal. We've only been together for what, two years maybe? Most of our players even just one year and this, for us, some of us is the first nationals ever and we're already in the finals, it's, it's amazing. We've come a long way. Last year was the COVID, we couldn't play any games but now we're in the finals, championship. We have the top players in the country, we have one of the best individuals in the country and uh, we're a very good team, we know, we know each other, we've played each other, with each other every single day for the past couple of months, so I think we do have the chance to win. Three days left to the final and there is no mercy on the pitch for the players. Next week, day, wake up! Well, the main focus on our training session, I think, is to, to be able to like connect with each other. If we connect with each other in training, we'll connect in, in game. Toughest part, uh, probably service reception because uh, their main players have very decent uh, float serves. And like throughout this tournament, that's what we've been struggling with mainly. But I hope like everyone switches on, stays focused and it should be all right. We need to eliminate the zone four, yeah? Attack. So if he's gonna be here, if he receives the short ball, he will have less chances to be ready for attack, yes? So that's why we need most difficult aspect in the game is always uh, pass. It's all it's all about reception. If we're gonna have good reception, then we can uh, we can uh, run middles, we can uh, set uh, our ball uh, quick and uh, we can have more options. The thing with volleyball is that like the momentum of the game can change very quickly but I feel like on average our team is much stronger than theirs so hopefully we'll be able to pull through, stay focused and just win the game. To my teammates before the game I would tell them to calm down, calm down and stay focused, stay really calm and also have fun. From the very beginning if we get our heads right this we won. It's all about mindset. I'm a bit scared right now, it's like giving me very, I'm quite anxious, but I find it fun, I find it exciting, it's going to be a, hopefully a good game. The champions are going to be Pro Volley, Polonia Academy. Why? Because we're the best, we're the best in England. For the best players in the country, there is one more step available to advance their careers, the national team. Hello everyone and welcome to the Volleyball Show. I am your host in person. Well, I'm in Miami, but our guest is in England and he is the assistant coach of the Under-19s England squad. Giorgio, welcome to the show. I'm excited to have you. Fantastic to be with you. Thank you for inviting me. So before we get started, can you introduce yourself a little bit better than I did to our audience? Absolutely. Uh, my name is very complicated, so everybody knows me as a GFG uh, because my name is so name is about 50 letters, so let's leave it at uh, one side. I'm Italian. I've been working and play volleyball in, in the UK for almost 25 years, play for um, many of the top uh, uh, teams in the England divisions. When I retire, eventually, uh, I started my coaching career. And so I've been coaching with uh, Richmond men, Guildford International, and the last few years with uh, the Richmond Volleyball Division 3, 2 and 1, uh, before COVID, unfortunately, stopped everybody. At the moment, I'm coaching at the American School, the varsity women team, and also as assistant coach of an under-19 men. Excellent. Well, we are so lucky to have you. I feel like 
as an Italian, you know volleyball so well. You must. I know playing in Italy was one of the best, one of the highlights of my career. So first and foremost, I want to ask you what differences you see between English volleyball and Italian volleyball, just right off the bat. Uh, the difference is really the volleyball is a part of a school curriculum. So like in myself, you actually start playing volleyball at school at age seven. Therefore, the integration with the schools, integration with junior club is starting at the beginning of the really when you, you're very, very young. Something that is slightly different in UK, where in the school you tend to play, you know, cricket, swimming or dancing rather than, than volleyball. So I think that is a big challenge uh, we have in here in the UK. So hearing that, what I'm hearing is that in, that integration between the school and the volleyball is really important at a young age. So in that regard, the volleyball academy could be so important to British volleyball. Indeed. I mean, if you have any opportunity to have a, a, a relatively young athlete to train three, four, five times uh, per, uh, per week, including strength and conditioning, including uh, nutrition, etc., it, it's of course is it's put yourself in a, in a very great position towards other countries or, or other clubs. Something that, of course, we are noticed with the I, IBB Polonia Pro Volleyball Academy. You know, some of the, of the player coming from this particular um, group are much stronger, much stronger in terms of physique, uh, are less prone to injuries just because of a following a very strict, uh, strict program. Right. So you're taking some inspiration from Italian, getting started really young. Also, I feel like in the U.S., that sort of college program where players really focus on volleyball, that's something important. Is there anything specifically that you've brought in from your years of experience that you are implementing with the junior national team? It's a very early stages. Um, you know, we have a group of about 35 athletes that come in from probably three or four major uh, junior clubs. But also these athletes are coming from uh, clubs that are already competing in Super Leagues and Division One. So the big challenge for the coaching team is really try to, to get together and try to understand the sort of a, a common uh, denominator in terms of skill set and then try to actually integrate uh, all the players together. We have a, you know, a large group from IBB Polonia Pro Volleyball Academy. We have a very large group from Richmond Volleyball, from Boswell. So you can imagine that sometimes you need to really try to find a, a sort of common platform to train these uh, young athletes. From my side, I used to play opposite. Uh, my speciality was blocking. So I'm really, really focused on, on blocking style penetration on blockings, movement with your feet. So I'm, I'm trying to really concentrate a, a very particular skill set to these athletes. Again, they're still growing. They're only, you know, 16, 18. So, you know, they need to grow physically as well, not just mentally. Have you seen any growth so far? Are there any specific athletes that stand out to you? I mean, these are potentially the future stars of English volleyball. Are there any, any athletes that stand out in particular to you? I, it's too early. You know, the, the group has been together since October. Uh, we train uh, we train once a month. So we have seen the athletes uh, four times, five times, plus a tournament in Italy. I think, again, these players are coming from, you know, once a month uh, under the England camp, you know, two days training. And also they're coming from, you know, different clubs. So everybody's bringing different skill, different running, different setting style. So as a coaching team, we need to just be able to absorb all these different skills and put together a national team. But it takes quite a lot of time. So we are at the, at the beginning of a journey because uh, we have a lot like a free year cycle for this particular group of kids. So, you know, we got a lot to, to work on and looking forward to it. And so what do you see as the future for English volleyball? Like how can you implement some things from your experience, from your years over in Italy, like what what do you see improving and how? Improving is about ability to train uh, more than once a week or twice a week. As you know, even Super League clubs, uh, it's difficult to find a venue to train. It also is very expensive uh, because our venues 
do have a lot of different lines. You have to compete with a five-side football, with a basketball, with a badminton, and so on. So to find the correct volleyball lines in a sport hall is pretty challenging in UK. So number one is to ability of to find the venue and then to be able to finance the booking of that venue. A lot of clubs' financial situation is not that great. So I think the big challenge is to be able to train more than once, more than once a week, and allow these athletes to develop. That's why the, the connection with the academy level, the connection with schools, in my opinion, is, is extremely important. And do you also see that there's sort of a, a cycle between the media and the sport? I mean, if, if kids are seeing volleyball on TV, they might aspire to play volleyball and then you're going to have a larger pool of talent to pick from. So in, in countries like Italy or the USA or Poland, where kids can see that national level, they can see what they're aspiring to. How important is that to, to be able to push that forward in the UK? I mean, I understand from some recent um, study that apparently the interest in volleyball has grown a lot in UK thanks to a Japanese video games. But actually, oh. I, didn't know, I still, I still it, don't understand exactly what, what's going on with that Is game. that not Mira, Mira uh, and Shiro? Is it not that one? It, yeah, that one. Ah, okay, um, okay. I only one. know that because I it's, played in Italy. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm still a bit, a bit puzzling how I created so much interest. But, you know, going back to your original question, I think if you look at Italy, if you look at the recent playoff in Italy between the uh, Lube, Trentino, and Perugia, and so on, you had you know more than five to ten million people watching the games uh, live or, or, or streaming. So, and again, this young generation are always on the mobile phone. So, if, if we can enhance uh, volleyball through social media, I guess these guys, you know, these kids, this new generation, would definitely look at it. Last question then, if you're a young volleyball player or aspiring volleyball player, do you think doing something like Pro Volleyball Academy, Pro Volley Academy, is a really important step in their career? Uh, indeed. Uh, I'm also a very strong believer that you need to always think about the future after volleyball. So education remains an important factor. And again, the way we select our players, we have a selection once a year in October. We look at different characteristics of a player, not just to be a strong, tall uh, a woman or a boy or man, but as to be a good character, a good attitude. He or she needs to understand school duty is priority, and then try to actually uh, retain and create and build some responsibility. Again, with our team, uh, we know that people are, are staying away for two, two days in a row, but also they need to make sure that all the homeworks and responsibility are, are met. So I think, uh, you know, again, a, a pro volleyball academy project, I know it's very tough. If you have not finished your homework, you don't play. And I'm actually really, I think it's, it's a great, uh, it's great uh, attitude. And I think it's a great lesson in life as well. Great life lesson. Agreed. Couldn't agree more. Well, thank you so much to Giorgio for being our guest today. And thanks to you at home for watching. If you're interested in learning more about volleyball, go check out Pro Volley Academy and what they're doing over there. And we hope that volleyball just continues to grow in England and beyond. Thanks, guys. The big day is here. Today, IBB Polonia Juniors are traveling from London to the National Volleyball Center in Kettering to play the most important game of their careers. Uh, I made sure I slept well. I made sure I was, uh, I was well rested so I can have as much energy as I can for today and for the match. Feeling excited, ready to play, ready to win. Score, 3-0. No. Good morning, everyone. My name is Bartek. If you don't know me, I'm the uh, CEO of IBB Polonia London Volleyball Club. But uh, welcome on the coach. Hey, we are going to Kettering for the under 18 finals with the Pro Volley Academy. Enjoy the day and uh, yeah, be loud. And uh, let's uh, leave our hearts on and off the court. I think that on many fronts, this tournament or this competition is exactly the same as senior competition. So that's why it's important for our players. Uh, to experience this uh, pressure, travel, 
uh, warm up and then the mental preparation to the to the competition i think in terms of level of course this is a junior competition so we expect it to be a bit lower but majority of those players on both sides of the court today has have ambitions to play professionally and i think right now for their age group they are in a very good place right before the game the head coach takes some important time to share his last moment advice remember start slowly 70 60 percent like that first yeah and focus on defense and team spirit guys stay together it's very important for us do not make many mistakes on the beginning especially beginning great pass perfect set try of course sometimes we block doesn't matter but especially service and defending guys this is very important defense guys all of the guys keep short balls over block if they don't have good ball to attack keep short balls over block and these guys when they're under 18 they're at the doorstep of their future professional careers so i think it's our responsibility to smartly but to introduce uh, expectations and uh, pressure into the sport competition even in juniors remember guys enjoy the game stay together play the best you can that's it yeah let's go to Today we played a team called Richmond Docklands uh, from London. They are a very popular and very huge team in terms of the junior participation. I think they have must have like 400 members. So their strong points are a good outreach to the schools and they have a lot of players who actually want to play volleyball. Do you know a few people, they are my friends. I have to play with them at England camp um, every month. But on the court today, they are my enemies. This time, one eighty boys is ours, yeah? We're taking gold, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 as soon as you play, yeah, I'm just the best you can. Don't you think about me? Yeah? yeah, let's go, let's go! definitely feel the support from the match. It is one thing that definitely motivated me because I don't want to be here as a team with all these supporters watching us, mums, dads, friends, family. I brought my whole family, uh, I brought my grandparents, my parents and my sister. They, they all came with us. I come nearly to every single match and just want to be there supporting the team. I'm extremely nervous, excited and my adrenaline is pumping hard. Very proud to see Asha plays playing really well today. All the boys are playing really well today. But yeah, I'm super proud of my son, Asha. Number 16. <laughs> the 3-1 Polonia today. But volleyball is oftentimes unpredictable. Um, the first set was an amazing set by Polonia. We came. We showed our highest level of volleyball that we could play, kept it simple, which is why we took the set. And I think we surprised everyone by that. We played the best I've ever seen us play. No mistakes, just perfect, perfect volleyball. We had them in the first set. The first set score of 22-25 fired up the spirit of the players. Where will this take them? Second set, I think we lost focus a bit. I think we got a bit overwhelmed. Uh, after the first set, I think it took us back a bit. They changed a couple of things technically. As we start going down, we lose concentration. But we tried to pick up at the end, wasn't enough. I think the most difficult factor wasn't necessarily a point in the game, but it was trying to come back from losing a few points in a row and trying to hold together as a team to fight towards the end. The score of 25-11 brought them back to earth. We play first set very good, yeah? yeah. What's happened later? Slow we stop down. playing. Slow down. Stress go down, guys. We don't have a stress. We can better, but we make mistake, mistake, mistakes. Please, stop making mistakes. We will get it off ball by ball. It's okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go! 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 Go!
third set, uh, I think we're still getting back into it. We were a bit down, but towards the end of the set, we, we definitely picked up. And in the fourth set, it was very close. It could have gone either way. That was a great set. Everyone played really good till the end, but Richmond won, they were the better team today. The final result was 3-1. Yeah, it's just mostly disappointment, um, especially after that first set, we played so good. But we can we come back next year, we're going to beat them next year, and I, I, have, I have lots of hope. Losing with all these people watching wasn't a great feeling, but I had to try keep the morale of the team up, keep our heads high for next year. So. We came this far, we proved everyone, just because we didn't win against Boswells, whatever. We got lucky to be here. Yeah, and the, the best get lucky, you know what I'm saying? The fact that we're here right now says something about our team. Keep our heads high. Everyone tried. It's our first nationals. And to get into the finals, the first time we've been to nationals, that's amazing. I don't think anyone else has done that, so I'm proud of everyone. Overall, the pro volley team showed great spirit and will, fighting until the end. They were the only team in the whole championship that managed to win a set against the Richmond Docklands, without a doubt the strongest club in England, getting close to winning even a second one. I'm here with uh, Sue Story, the CEO of Volleyball England. Sue, the English Under-18 Grand Prix uh, championship finished just now. How was this year from your perspective? Oh, it's been a fantastic season. We are so pleased at how successful our junior Grand Prix, our junior competitions have been this year. We've gone up from 112 teams to 290 teams entering our competitions. And that's just such an explosion of junior volleyball in this country. So do you think that was the biggest difference between the, this season and previous seasons in, in junior volleyball in England? Or if not, what was? I think the, the, the last couple of, of years have been very testing for everybody in any part of sport um, as we've been through the pandemic. But for, for junior competitions, we were able to bring those back earlier than, uh, the, than the rest of the sport. So that gave us an opportunity to really focus on juniors and try and make sure that we give them every chance to, to really progress in the sport. And that coupled with the, uh, the, the uh, manga series Q has made such a difference to the interest in volleyball and quite rightly Rightly so, it's a fantastic sport and it's brilliant that it's created so much interest. So volleyball is a global sport. How do you think English juniors currently compare to other juniors abroad? Uh, well, sadly, uh, volleyball here in, in England is still a minority sport, but I think that uh, you know we want to change that. We absolutely want to make sure that the, the uh, popularity of the sport grows significantly in England. It is the second biggest sport in the world, um, and we need to make sure that it's up there in, in England to, uh, for, for the same reasons. It is such a great sport to play. So we want to focus on making sure that our junior pathway improves and that we're able to get more and more people playing the sport. Because once you get start them off as a junior our aim is to make them volleyballers for life we want to ensure that they continue on that pathway in volleyball for the rest of their lives so the popularity of volleyball is growing from your perspective what is your vision and what is your strategy to grow the level of volleyball in england we have a new strategy well it's not that new now it's nearly two years old but you know sort of 18 months two years ago we developed a strategy called the game plan this was all about really focusing on how we put clubs at the heart of what we do so everything grows from a club everybody who starts volleyball starts in a club somewhere so we want to make sure that those clubs are able to be the biggest and the best that they possibly can be they're offering opportunities for young people to get involved for beginners to get involved and really working on their own pathway to high performance and by by supporting clubs to achieve that then hopefully they'll all be able to uh, get to the level that they want to get we're not telling them how to to run a volleyball club we want to support them to achieve their own ambitions so the sport is growing but how would you encourage young junior players in England to come and play or come and watch volleyball Volleyball is a, a brilliant team sport because what, what it does is it helps you really focus on those core team skills. You have to play together to win anything. Now, lots of other sports, you play with a team against somebody else, but you're competing against those other people. Volleyball is very much about using the core of a good team spirit to be able to work together. And you see that when you know all the high fives and all of the, the hand slapping and that team spirit just grows and grows and grows. 
throws and anybody who starts volleyball loves that immediately you see it in the kids faces when they start playing they just want to spend more and more time with each other it was great speaking to you sue thanks very much and good luck with all the plans thank you very, very much thank you for your time Get the ball in system here. Potentially in the game as he does from the inside. Neil Sink. That's a good swing. International. The experience. Block is watching through the net. IBB Builders Merchants proudly supports volleyball.